Oh, hey, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Watch the video. Hey, what's up guys? Well, as you know, I, I just bought it myself a golf cart. Not too shabby, if I might say. But what it's lacking is some upgrades. How am I supposed to go out to the racetrack if I don't have any beer holders? And I noticed that the light didn't work on this thing either. So we're gonna do some upgrades on this thing. We're gonna install a light bar. And I picked up some speaker pods too off of Amazon. They should work out pretty well. I got some armrests too for the rear. And some marine speakers in our head unit. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna basically show you guys how I'm gonna get this done. All right, so pop the seat off this bad boy. I got a 36 volt system. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hook up our converter, which I got off of Amazon as well. Converts 36 to 48 volts down to 12 so we can run our accessories for the LED bar and the stereo system. So where you're gonna to wanna to start here is you're gonna, you wanna pick the, the front and the end of the series here. So on these carts, on the passenger side, it's gonna be this positive and this negative. But as you see, I have nowhere to mount this thing. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here where I have myself a little empty spot. So I'm going right here to the floor. A little self tapper screws. Should mount salt in them. I'm gonna run the wires right along here. Over there, hook them up, and then I can run all my wires from the radio down here. Okay, so that worked out pretty slick. Use some self tappers and I got this snug right here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out was uh, I did twist the wires together so that they stayed together and they weren't just flopping around. I did use zip ties and I zip tied it here but loosely because you don't want it too tight otherwise it'll rub through and then you're gonna arc and all that good stuff. I also put two uh, connector butts on here on the because this, this is live. So you don't want this sitting here arcing off your frame and all that. So now I'm going to move on. I'm going to use a Dremel. I'm going to cut out this ball holder right here. And uh, I'm going to start getting it pieced together so that the radio fits in there nice with the cage. Um, another easy way to do it is I'm going to, I'm going to pop this little cup holder here out so that way I can access behind it. And I'm going to run the wires down underneath the frame and then up through here. One thing I did forget to mention is, is I'm going to drill out a couple spots for toggle switches too. That way the things aren't running constantly off the battery. That way I can flip them on and off and all that good stuff. So now that we got that far there, 
And now we're gonna set up the speaker pods. That way we can get all the wiring tied together. And then we can start closing stuff up right after that. And then we'll have to tie in the LED bar too up through here. That's why I got two holes now. That way I have toggle switches to turn them off and on. Uh, the speaker pods are probably pretty cool. Um, what they got for the driver side here, they got this little hole here, which goes by three bolt or four bolt. This one's a three bolt. But the way to get the pod in there is pretty easy. So to, you have to remove the steering wheel to get this on. So you just pull up on this and take this 15 16th nut off and then the steering wheel will come right off and then we can slide it and start mounting. are in now I think I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna tackle this light bar I know we're kind of getting a little wishy-washy here but I want to get all the stuff mounted before I start wiring because once it, once I start wiring it should be just a fly job Now that we have everything installed that needs to be wired in, um, now we're gonna get all the wires together um, and hook our switches up. That way everything is gonna be powered on through the switches and then we're gonna run the power from the switches down to our power reducer or converter box. So let's do it. good and now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna try uh, switches here oh yeah works out well Let's try the radio all right that's awesome all right now that we're finished up with all the wiring and the radio I'm going to put the new aftermarket stereo on 
and work on putting these armrests on here in the back. Installed. The steering wheel was actually pretty easy and the armrests were even easier. So now I'm racetrack ready and that way I can cruise around, enjoy my beers, pick up some friends, have them enjoy some beers and all that good fun stuff. Well everybody that's out at BIR right now, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, be safe. Um, make sure you're having a lot of fun as usual because there's no spectator so we'll miss you. Really sad that we can't make proving grounds this year. But it is what it is. Hopefully August comes around and things work all great. Um, as usual, you guys, support your local racetrack and we'll catch you next time.